for me personally, the importance of that thing called the cross and the idea of Christ dying for his enemies is all about forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And I don't think we can go anywhere in these debates if we can't learn to forgive again. I don't know where the question of the cross sits with you, but well, I'll address the that's first. That's a really powerful idea. So I think the best me. the best way I can address that is the forgiveness part first. So my friend Peter Bogosian, who I've had on the show, he this is a man who is a liberal, a good liberal in the in the truest sense of liberal, a professor at Portland State University. He wrote a book called A Manual for Creating Atheists. So this is a guy you would have a lot of um, existential issues with, but he's been an incredible. Um, an incredible voice to shine a microscope on what has happened with leftism and what he describes it as, and this is an atheist, so remember, this is an atheist. He describes it as a secular religion with no redemption narrative. Yeah. And that's really interesting yeah. to me because here's a guy who's an atheist, right? So he wants things to be ordered purely by secularism and non-belief. And yet through talking about this, he has learned that religion Virtually all religions, I don't know the one that doesn't really, uh, religions have a redemption narrative. Leftism or what, what this postmodern lunacy is, there's no, there's no redemption narrative. You, as a Christian white man, you are the bad guy and yeah. you must bow mm. forever. And they'll tolerate you as long as you bow, but the second you won't bow, you're out. Now, that's a religious idea, the idea of forgiving people for that. And the idea that you are, you are not born guilty is really interesting. But they've created that. They've created, well, you were born white and male. You are bad. That, that is deeply dangerous. So, so I don't know that that completely addresses your question about the cross, but what I would say is that it's become increasingly clear to me from everyone that I talk to and from my own journey that without these ideas, We've got almost no chance right now. We've got yeah. no chance. Yeah, I think I, the thing I would say is that actually I, I, my perspective would be we're all born good and bad. Yeah. So that's more of a blank slate, right? But it's universalist as well. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter in one sense the color of my skin or whether I'm male or female or whether I'm a, a victim or a victim maker because the truth is we're probably all both or have the ability to be both. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually all have a shared nobility. We all have a shared, you know, if you like, sinfulness, the old-fashioned word, and we're all offered on the same basis, on a universal basis, forgiveness.